Laravel has these things called gates. What is a gate? Well, just think of an actual gate. It's a barrier. It's something that is going to either grant or deny access to something based upon a key or whatever magical thing is going to allow you access or deny you access to something. And creating a gate is very simple. Just use the gate facade, call the define method, and then give it a name. Uh, typically, we want to use something along the lines of an action, but really it's arbitrary. It doesn't matter what we call it. But the beautiful thing about a gate is that it is dynamic. A user will either be granted or denied access based upon the return value of this closure. So I want to check if the user is an admin or if they are an author because I don't want just anyone to be able to manage articles. I want only these two types of users. And with this gate defined, I can use it anywhere within the application. Of course, it makes sense to use it inside of our controllers, which I can just call the authorize method and use the name of our gate. But of course, in reality, I would want to do this on a grander scale, on all of the routes for our articles, in which case I can use this gate as middleware. All I have to say is can manage articles, and if so, then the user is granted access to these routes. But then I can also use them inside of my views. I want to show the articles link only if the user can manage articles. You can start to see why we typically use action names for our gates. It reads very well. So if the user can manage articles, then they will see the articles link. Otherwise, the user has no idea that link exists. Gates are easy to create, they're easy to use, and you can use them anywhere within your application. It really doesn't get any simpler than that.